This is Blackpool Football Club and they are in some sh Currently 23rd in the championship on 27 points, Blackpool have won 6 games this season out of the 29 they have played. God, oh. By the way things are going right now at Blackpool, the Seasiders could very well be heading down to League 1. But today we are going to not only attempt to save this club, but we are going to do something that they haven't done since 2010. And that's get promotion into the Premier League through the playoffs. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we are here, manager of Blackpool Football Club. And boy, we have got a lot of work to do. Now, I will quickly say before we fully get into this, as you can probably hear, or if you can't, I'm not feeling the best at the moment. My nose is playing up. So what I will say is, please, boys, if you do enjoy this video and you do really like it and you want to help us reach our goal of 10,000 subscribers by the end of this year, then please, please, please do click the subscribe button and do drop a like as it does help a lot. 10,000 subscribers ain't going to wait for nobody. So even while I'm ill, I'm still going to try and push through and bring you guys content. Hopefully I feel a lot better soon though, but let's get fully into it. And so as I sat in my office and took my first look at this squad, I realized that there was a major task at hand. All right, so taking a look at our starting lineup untouched, this is what we're working with, my God. Um, I mean, it's not terrible. I'm here with my kid and that is terrible. Now, if we actually go into the squad hub, we can actually see that we do actually have a couple people that are unknown to us in the starting 11, which isn't amazing. So we are going to have to do something about that at some point because I don't really want to depend on players in the starting 11 that won't fully be here for us if we do survive our first season at Blackpool. I will say though, if any of these players do develop some good potential, I will probably approach and try and buy them just so that we have them on and they could maybe help us in one of our seasons. But they're going to have to show me very good potential this first season that I'm manager at the club. So this first season that I'm here is definitely all about survival. We need to survive relegation because I don't think I'll even have a job if we get relegated after this. I'll probably be at the job centre. Now with a budget of 4 million, that's going to be quite hard to do. So we're going to have to really think about who we bring in to help us this first season. And to kick our transfer business off, we sign a loan deal for a promising Italian left back with option to buy. Okay, so um, not a lot has been done to the squad, as you can see. I've changed the formation. We're trying something a lot different to what I'm normally trying. Um, I normally go 4-4-3-3 attack, but this time I'm trying a 4-4-1-1. So that's going to be interesting to see. Looking at the players that we had in the squad, I felt like this probably was the better option for me. And I just wanted to try something different to see how it would work out. Now, if this doesn't work out, then obviously I can always change it. But we have got our first game of the season tomorrow against Sheffield. And we've got our new boy on loan from Italy starting there at the left pack position. So still a lot of work to be done in defence. But I'm feeling a lot more confident on that left hand side now. Um, I'm going to move my other centre back over to the left hand side so it's a lot stronger than the right. But um, yeah, we're going to head into our first game of the season and see how it goes. And so as the boys headed into their first game of the season, it wasn't long until we found our first breakthrough goal. Alright, we've got counter-attack. Hamilton, use that pace. Use that pace. Use that pace, Hamilton. There we go. Use that pace. Use that pace. Use that pace. Use that pace. Who have we got? Who have we got? Who have we got for support? One more. In. Lovely boys, but it wasn't long until Sheffield earned themselves a pen. Oh my god, he tried to chip it. What a mug. But the penalties didn't end there for Sheffield Wednesday. Oh my god. <sighs> you missed once but not twice. You learnt from that first mistake. Still a very weak pen, man. A very weak pen. Keen to not let that penalty ruin the start though, the boys pushed on for one final time in the 80th minute. Yates, Yates, very good run, very good run from Yates, still no one shutting us down, oh my god we have it, and it's in, 8 first minute, we score, Yates there putting us 2-1 up, surely that's the game, and indeed it was, away from home and away with the win, our first game of the season and we come away with all 3 points, but our business was not done there, as we had Middlesbrough in a couple days, and I decided that we needed a new goalkeeper. So who better to sign than promising young star Michael Cooper. Michael Cooper was a very nice and cheap option for me here and he fit perfectly into the squad. Someone that we could defo mould to be a future star here at Blackpool Football Club. And it wasn't long till Michael Cooper got his first test in his debut game. 
Oh my god, that is a ball and a half. Michael Cooper, what have you got? Oh, that's why we signed you, son. And after 60 long and tiring minutes of nothing coming for us against Middlesbrough, we finally managed to break the deadlock. Oh my god. Oh my god. Well done to Yates there for getting that through. I actually thought we ruined that. Yates just about getting a foot to it, plays it through, and we managed to get a goal from it. That is lucky as hell. But that lucky goal was enough as we left the Riverside Stadium with all three points and moved on to our first Carabao Cup game of the season. We are still yet to play a game at home. This is our first cup game. It's the Carabao Cup and we are away once again. That is three games to the start of our season. Away from home. We're still unbeaten though. <laughs> so hopefully we can continue that run. Oh, I see that ball. Are we going to get to it? Yes, we are. It's a bit of shirt pulling, but Yates pulls away. Yates, one on one. Yates gets us 1-0 up just before 30 minutes in our first Carabao Cup game. That is it, boys. Let's use this momentum. And there we are, a 1-0 win in our first Carabao Cup game. Once again, not too bad with the squad that we've got. Still unbeaten in three games. Still unbeaten in three games. That's what we're talking about, boys. They aren't massive wins, but they're wins. And that's, that's all that counts, really. Yates, once again, doing what he does best, scoring goals. All right, so after two convincing wins in the season so far, Blackpool are on six points and are top of the table. But now I'm going to hand it over to the players themselves and I'm going to catch up with you guys midway through the season and see how we're getting on. So it is midway through the season and, yeah, we dropped points badly but we are still not in relegation which is what this season is all about not being in relegation and surviving in the championship and so far midway through the season the boys are surviving just about but anyway as you can see it is derby day as we are faced in preston north end they are currently fifth on 46 points so let's head into this game and see what we can make of it but after a very long and very rough 90 minutes against preston neither team managed to come away with the win all right boys so i've simmed it all the way to the end of the season i'm pretty sure in a couple minutes i will find out if my first season as manager at blackpool has saved them from relegation that was my goal so i'm pretty sure we're about to find out if we've made that happen if it wants to load 15 okay thank god Oh my god. Okay, and we took them to round 5 of the FA Cup and round 2 of the Carabao Cup. That's not bad, you know. Finishing 15th, round 5 of the FA Cup, round 2, with the team that we had at the start. And I'm finished on a good... I'm good with the board as well. I'm good with the board as well. Like I said, this first season was all about survival. I'm pretty sure as my first season at manager... What, how many signs did we make? About, what, three? And what, what, two of them were loans? One was an actual sign-in? We sold about two players. Hey, I'm convinced. I'm happy. I'm happy with that first season there. Very happy indeed. All right, so as we head into season two, the board have been, uh, I mean. Are you taking the fucking piss? Nine million, really? Nine million. They've given us nine million to spend this season. And as you guys know, I still really, really, really want to improve our defense because we are still not Premier League ready at all if we go into the premier league we will get absolutely <laughs> so we are definitely going to spend heavy on our defense this season well i say heavy we've got nine million to spend also all of our loans are now done so the only person that we have here at loan is that left back that i got from our first season who had a two-year loan his form has been bad but hopefully he can improve it this season so yeah we are quite bare boned our midfield is lacking and our defense is lacking i'm still not going to touch the attack that can wait maybe for our third season but this season i'm going to try and put the nine million to use in our defense and if i have anything left our midfield and we made quick work of the free agent signing daniel armity right away as well as bakuna who joins us for 3.1 million all right guys so our first game of the season is here for season number two um we are not in the best of shape i'll be so real with all those loans heading back to their original clubs and all the sales that we made to try and get some money in 
um our squad that isn't the best right now i'll be so real it's not the best right now like we've got a left wing back in left mid yeah obviously we have got our new center mid in and we have got our new center back in which is great but there are still some positions that we do need to try and sort out before transfer deadline day if we are to survive another season in the championship and after a 1-0 loss to Stoke, the boys quickly switched it on for their next game and managed to come away with a 2-0 win against Bristol City. They then went on to beat Mansfield Town once again in the Carabao Cup 2-0 as well. Alright guys, so it is now transfer deadline day and boys, uh, you're not going to believe this. We have only lost one game out of the six we have played so far this season. That is crazy. With a left wing back filling the left mid position and a centre mid... That's not even that good in the central midfield. We're doing all right. So that work that I've been doing to the back line is surely paying off. But anyway, it is transfer deadline day and we need to sort out that left mid and central midfield position. And to sort out our midfield, we once again put our trust in young talent signing the brother of Jude Bellingham, Joe Bellingham from Birmingham City. We then went on to make use of free agents once again signing left wing international Nkudu. Alright guys, so with those transfers made, this is how we are looking for Season 2. A lot better to how we were in Season 1. The boys are making excellent progress. As you can see, there are a lot of plus stats across the whole team. So that is looking good. Our next game is against Birmingham City. So we are going to see how these guys feel. And it's going to be a very interesting game for Job and Bakuna as they are facing their old team. So let's see how they do. Just looking for the run of Yates. He's made the run. That's what we were looking for. We're going to draw the goalkeeper to the side, swing it in. There we go. Beautiful finish by Yates. 35 minutes into the game and puts us 1-0 up at home. Here's Chong. Here's someone that we actually tried to snap up, but the manager was being a, a waste man about it. Wasn't trying to sell him. All right, we've got a pen. Yates for two. Lovely. 2-0 up here in the 76th minute. It doesn't look like Birmingham City are going to come back from this. And yep, I was correct. 2-0 it finishes here at home against Birmingham City. Yates there with a brace. A lovely win for the boys. Swiftly moving on from this win, it was then time for Carabao Cup action against our rivals Preston. But we were very quick in this game off the blocks. Oh my god, look at that run by Yates. Oh my god, lovely ball. Yates, through. Oh, decent touch. Oh, my God. We just about, just about, that touch felt very sus. Very sus, but we just about get our goal there. That puts us 1-0 up. In the first minute of the game, Yates there, making a lovely run. We find Yates. Keeper. Yates, Yates breaking through there. They just haven't got the pace to keep up with him. Yates, one-on-one -on -one with the goalkeeper. That miss by Yates at the end doesn't matter though as we managed to finish the game 1-0 against Preston. How Yates didn't finish that next? I, I, man, what? But we luckily come away with a 1-0 win against Preston at home. That goal in the first minute by Yates just does enough and I guess we hold down our ground for the rest of the game. Alright guys, so we're basically midway through the season now and I'll be real, the boys are flying. Like, they are flying. We have made it to round three of the Emirates FA Cup and today we play Sutton. But boys, look at this. We are currently in the top six in the championship at Sith. The boys are playing for a playoff position as it currently stands. It is very tight though because Bristol City are catching up slowly as well as Swansea City. But we could be in the playoffs by the end of the season. And as I went on to sim the last few games of the season, even though we did not win our final game, the boys had still managed to do it. We are in the playoffs. We are in the playoffs. And this would only be right because Blackpool are the only team, I'm pretty sure, that have gone up in all rankings of the English league system through playoffs. They went to the Prem through playoffs. They went to League 1 through playoffs. They went to League 2 through playoffs. And now we're back in the playoffs to get into the Prem. Something that Blackpool have not done since 2010. We're facing a Premier League team though, that being AFC Bournemouth. Damn. Am I confident? I'm, I'm sure the boys will pull it together. 
But let's see. I'm not gonna take control here. We're gonna sim it and see what happens. I'm gonna fucking smash my fucking house up. That is painful. But I knew we weren't ready. I knew we were not ready. Who got our goal? Job. Oh, I knew we weren't ready. All right, the boys did put up a fight, but it just wasn't good enough in the end. Look at that. We managed to get three goals in this game and beat Bournemouth. But they beat us on aggregate, making it 5-4 with that one goal from Tavernier in the 94th minute. That is painful as hell. But Bournemouth are the team that are going on to the next round. That is unfortunate, man. But I knew we just weren't ready for the Prem yet. So hopefully we get a decent amount of money from the board as they've seen that all the progress that I've made this season. And we can make some adjustments to the team that will hopefully make us promote to the Prem next season. And there it is, Bournemouth beat Nottingham Forest to end up back into the Premier League. Pretty realistic, to be fair. So well done to Bournemouth. I mean, oh man, but what a leg that we had against them though. But hopefully this season is the season where we can go for promotion. Season three at Blackpool Football Club is here and the board have given us 14 million this season to get us ready to promote to the Premier League. So I already know where I'm about to spend some of this money. All right guys, so remember that Italian that I bought in on loan at the start of our season in season one with option to buy. We are actually gonna snatch him up here for three million pounds. He is now gonna become a Blackpool Football Club player. He has developed massively since being at the club and he's been having a very good run for the last two seasons. So I think it's only right that we make it official and sign him here at Blackpool Football Club. But just as things were looking good, I soon received a bad email. Jerry Yates is a snake. We were gonna make you something special here, Jerry Yates. Jerry Yates had decided he was too good to be playing championship football and after failing to get promotion last season, he was out. All right, first game of the season is tomorrow and we still haven't got a striker. Oh my God. I need my scouts to get back to me ASAP. We've literally got an academy player up front. Oh man. So we are two games into the season so far and by God's grace, we've won both of them somehow. Don't even ask me how, because I do not know. But my scouts have finally come back with the scout reports. Let's get some players in, please. Filling Jerry Yates boots wasn't gonna be easy, but loaned in Dane Scarlett was the man for me. All right guys, so you join me once again, midway through a season here at Blackpool Football Club and the board, eh, they ain't too happy. But we are having success with our players. Look at that. Everyone is growing. Everyone at the club is growing. So I don't know what the problem is. The transfer window is reopened. And I know that I'm about to sign a new central midfielder. Who that is, not too sure yet. But I do need to get one. Hopefully we can get a decent one. We've got 10 million to spend. So I'm going to look where we can spend it. Obviously that isn't a lot of money to get a decent one in for our Prem charge this season. But... Hopefully we can get someone decent in. And a familiar face steps back into my office. That's right, the youngster from Arsenal is here, but he is back signing for good. The youngster has shown potential at Arsenal and we felt it's only right that we go and snap him up here for good at Blackpool Football Club for four million pounds. All right, so we are past the halfway point of the season here at Blackpool Football Club and we are currently sick. It's looking a bit like deja vu, except Millwall actually creeping up on us and so are Preston. So we really do need to strengthen that gap. It is transfer deadline day today though. We have made some sales, but we also need to make some signings. And now with 22 million pounds all generated by myself, no thanks to the board, I did all I could to sign us some talent in hopes of it getting us to a playoff final or automatic promotion back to the Premier League. The likes of Twine joined us. Experienced right back from Newcastle or Mill Craft, who wanted out of the club also joined us. Promising right winger from Huddersfield, Sorba Thomas, also signed for the club. But with the board still giving us peanuts to work with, it was no good. And my time as manager at Blackpool was slowly coming to an end. This season, I knew that I was definitely under the eye of the board. And my job was definitely on the line here if we did not get to the playoffs or automatic promotion. So in one final attempt to get us back to where we were, two seasons ago i signed the experienced goalkeeper nick pope from newcastle and that nick pope signing had worked a treat 
as after our final game of the season against Huddersfield, I soon found out that we are back in the playoffs. Alright guys, so after the longest, what, four seasons of my life at Blackpool, we finally find ourselves in another playoff, just, just missing out on automatic promotion to Bournemouth there. Well, it wasn't just, I mean, look at the points, but... But we find ourselves in a playoff with Norwich, Middlesbrough and Huddersfield. It's a very, very interesting group. Huddersfield just about beating Sheffield United to it as well. Look at that. One point difference. That's crazy. But we're going to see if the boys can finally, finally get that promotion and convince the board to give us more money. Because we need more money. And after simming the first game, it finished 3-3. It was all down to the next leg. Oh my god. Oh my god, the boys are pulled through. We are through on aggregate. We are through to the finals on aggregate. Oh my god, boys. This is it. This is it. And this was indeed it. The last chance was me as manager to not only keep my job but get these boys back to the Premier League through the playoffs, something they have not done since 2010. This was it, the moment of truth. For the next 90 minutes the boys were going to have to give it their all and they definitely did give it their all. Oh my god save. Quick, 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 through, 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 through. There we go, Twine. Let's go, Twine. This is it. Your chance. God, it is a penalty shootout. It is a penalty shootout to decide who goes to the Prem. Oh my god, Twine. How did you. Oh. Lovely Nick Pope. Make up for it, son. Nice. Come on. Nice, Nick Pope. Very nice. Oh, how the what? Emerson. Oh, it's not so sudden death. Nice. Oh my god, this is it. Joe Bellingham to make the front cover of the news tomorrow. Joe Bellingham picks his corner. Nice, oh my god. Oh my god, please. Oh my god, please. This guy is leaving us as well when this season ends. He's heading off to Germany. But can he be a hero right here, right now? Oh my god. Oh my god, please. 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 Yes! Yes! Oh my god! That's it! The boys are going up! The boys are going up! Oh my god, what a penalty shootout! Fair play to Norwich! The, the boys are finally going up! 
through the playoffs. Something that they have not done since 2010. We are going up to the Premier League. Oh my god. That's right, the boys have done it. Something that hasn't been done since 2010, we have made happen once again. Through the playoffs, Blackpool are back in the Premier League. Ladies and gentlemen, if you did enjoy this video, please, please, please subscribe to the channel. I am currently up at 7 a.m. editing this video. I really want to hit 10,000 subscribers. So if you did enjoy it, please do leave a massive like, subscribe to the channel if you are new, and share it with your friends. Also, tell me what I can improve as I am trying to get better at these career mode things. But I really have enjoyed this. It was a very hard rebuild, but we finally made it happen. I'm very happy to see Blackpool back in the Premier League. And hopefully this brought a smile to some of you Blackpool fans' faces, as I know you guys are having a very rough season. But anyway, boys, if you did enjoy this video, you can check out this other one on your screen. I've been Elite, and I'll catch you in the next one. Peace.